kids, look at this beauty! Isn't he gorgeous? Let's draw him! A beak and the neckline, the body, the wing, the legs and feet, and the glorious tail! Do you know what kind of bird this is? Take a guess! That's right! It's a peacock! Look at that amazing display! Some lines down the middle of each feather. Little bit of detail here on the head. Ready to paint! OK, we're going for gold first of all. That's for the beak. Next we'll go for green. Aww! And some blue. Yes, our peacock body is going to be blue, but of course you can choose any colour you like. Really, it's your picture so you can be creative. And the wing. Brilliant! Going for brown for the legs and the feet. And yellow now for our middle feather. Carefully painting around the black lines, leaving that teardrop shape. There you go. And pink. Ooh, I love this colour next to the yellow. Gorgeous. What's your favourite colour? <laughs> Me too. I'm doing the same either side of the yellow because I think it really makes it stand out. It's called symmetry when it's identical, exactly the same on each side. Green for the next one. Lovely! Other side too. Yellow, pink, green. Hmm, what colour shall we do the last feather? Red! What a great idea! I was thinking exactly the same. Strokes from side to side. One half at a time. Excellent! Ooh, we're almost there. And around the teardrop shape. Woohoo! Going for pink for our first teardrop. Then how about yellow? Yes, it's like a backwards version of the first feather. And some red. Lovely. Other side. So how about green for the last one? Brilliant! I just love it. And you're done! Amazing! Look at that beautiful display! The peacock is truly wonderful! Hey Fishy! How are you today? Ooh, I would love to draw and paint you! Starting with the outline of the body, kind of an egg shape on its side. A circle for the eyes and mouth, a semicircle, and we're going to do the top fin and the tail, the bottom fin, and now for the scales, which are kind of overlapping semicircles. You see, they're really easy to do. Excellent! Now we're ready to paint. Let's go for yellow for the face. Gorgeous! And the great thing about this is you can do all your favourite colours. You could even get a picture of a fish and copy its colours. A pink mouth and purple now. We're going to do purple up here. Great. And here. And here. Now going for red for our first layer of scales. We're doing a rainbow fish, all different colours. Let's go for yellow next. Lovely to match the face. Wow, that looks great against the purple, don't you think? Small strokes. There. Blue next. Gorgeous. My favourite colour. What's your favourite colour? You can do it all the same colour if you like, but we like rainbow fishies. Going for gold next. Ooh, lovely. And now, green. 
yes! Finally, pink for the tail. Bigger strokes this time. Almost there. You're done. Brilliant. Well done. What a gorgeous glitter fish. Amazing. Hey kids, how are you today? Let's draw and colour in a zebra. Starting with the eye and eyebrow. Doing the outline with the ear and the back. Going on to the legs and the hooves. That's it, just copy us and the nose. And the mane and the other ear. Tail and the back leg. There you go. Now we start to add our detail and stripes. First on the mane and then on the body. If this video is going too fast for you, you can always pause it or even rewind. You can do your stripes however you like. Long rectangular shapes, simply the stripes or even some long triangles. A bit curvy on the legs. Skipping out the hoofs and there you go, we're ready to paint. Black for the stripes and the nose. Even black and nostril. And every other part of the mane is black. And of course, in between those lines that we just drew. Leaving a white gap in between each one. Lovely. Have you ever wondered, is a zebra black with white stripes or white with black stripes? We're going for black on the tip of the tail and also the hooves can be black. Almost there, one more leg to go. And we're done. And there you have it, a cute zebra. Ah, oh, I want to see one now at the zoo. Hi kids, how are you today? Let's draw and paint a ladybug, starting with the round eyes, a smile and a big round face and some rosy cheeks and the antennae. Lots of circles here, the body, don't forget the spots, see more circles, you'll be an expert and the leg, cute little feet, hmm how many should we draw? How about six, perfect, ready to paint. Start with black for the antennae and the face. Carefully going around the eyes and the rosy cheek circles. Gorgeous. That's it. Almost there. And done. The feet and the spots. Nice and easy this one because we only need a few colours. Brilliant. Last one. And let's go for red. Red for the main body. Carefully painting around those black spots. If you use a small tipped paintbrush to go around the edge of the circles, that will really help make it easier for you to shade in all the rest. Side to side. That's it. Excellent. Keep going. You're nearly there. Oh, this is looking lovely. And we're done. Rosy cheeks. Ta-da! See? Black and red. Ladybug. So cute. Rawr! I am a tiger. Want to draw and paint me? Yay! Let's start with the outline using a black pen. We're doing from the front foot up the leg to the face and the ears, the back and the tail. And then down, let's start the legs from the back, leaving some spaces for the claws on the paws. And now we're adding the claws in. Doing different sized claws to show perspective. Brilliant. Now for some finishing touches. Separating the feet from the leg. The belly. And the facial features. Now we're going to do our tiger stripes. Three on each side of the face. 
and then along the back and the tail. Lots of triangles to make our stripes. Some whiskers, don't forget it's a big cat. Right, ready to paint. Starting with black, we're going to do all of the stripes or triangle shapes and the nose. Nice and easy. A dab of paint on each. There, going for gold. We're going to do the main body of the tiger gold. Carefully painting in between the stripes, of course, and around the other facial features and the ears. Brilliant, well done. We're just leaving the nose area white, leaving the tummy as well. Leaving the feet as well. Then the rest of the back. And if you want, you can use pens or crayons or even pencils. It's all up to you. There, ready for some yellow for the inner ears. And the nose, where the mouth is too. And the belly. So it's like a paler shade for those parts. We'll do the feet as well. Not the claws, but the paws. Wow, this tiger is looking really cool. That's it. Right, last but not least, we'll do brown claws. Little dab. One, two, three, and we're done. Excellent. Well done, kids. You did a fantastic job. Rawr. Hey kids, have you ever been to a zoo? Have you ever seen a giraffe? Look at that long neck! Shall we draw? We start with an oval shape for the head, not to forget the ears and the bumps on top of course. Let's do the eyes and the nose and mouth. Right, now for the neck and the body and legs. See, it's super easy to do. Some spots the tail and we're ready to paint let's go for some brown for the top of our horns pink for the inner ear and yellow for the main part of the giraffe imagine if you were a giraffe you would be super tall with that long neck imagine the view from up there I wonder what they can see I bet they can see everything do you know why giraffes have such long necks well, I think it is to reach their food, of course, because they eat leaves. Gold for the spots. And if you want to be really creative, you could do multicoloured spots. Beautiful. And the feet. And let's finally do brown for the tail. And there you have it, a gorgeous giraffe. Go and eat your leaves. Bye. Hey kids, this video is going to be so much fun! We're going to draw and paint a honeybee, starting with the antennae, then the oval shaped body, and of course the stripes, and the wings. Did you know that a bee's wings are actually so small, technically it shouldn't be able to fly? How amazing! Right, let's paint! starting with black for the antennae and every other stripe. Do you know what a bee's antennae are used for? They're used for communicating. Isn't that amazing that bees communicate with each other? Right, we've gone for yellow next for the face, painting around those eyes. And of course, the remaining stripes will also be yellow. Gorgeous. We painted the sting black already and we're going for the wings. Blue for the wings. If you paint diagonally from side to side, you can paint more surface area faster. Good little tip for you. See, we're not going in straight lines up and down or side to side. We're going diagonally. Almost there. You're doing a great job. Yes, and we are done. That is absolutely beautiful. Hey kids, 
How would you like to draw and paint a cute little bunny? You would? Brilliant! Let's do the ears first. Long oval shapes. Then the head is a circle. Little tuft of hair. Circular eyes with some eyelashes, of course. Three on each side. The patches, the nose, the mouth. Now for the body. Arms, tummy, tail and feet. And the pads underneath. Perfect! Darkening up the border. And ready to paint, yay! Going for a lovely pink colour for the inner ear. A cute pink and grey bunny. Ah, grey on the outside. I love these two colours together, they look awesome. Now a light grey or silver. The centre of the face there, carefully going around the little nose and the mouth. That's it. Going for the dark grey again. On either side, going around the eyes. Gorgeous. That's it. And done. Now pink for the tongue. And a little brown nose. And back to the light grey silver colour. We're going to do the body with the arms. Either side, leaving out the middle of the paws and the tummy. Then we're going back to pink for the tummy to match the inner ears. I love this baby pink colour, don't you? And the bottom of the feet the same. Dark grey. And the tail. And we are done! There you go! How super easy was that? And how super cute! I would love to have a bunny, wouldn't you? Hey kids, how are you today? Ooh, ooh, ah, ah. Would you like to draw and paint a gorilla? Yay! Start with the head, the ears, a tuft of hair, the inner face like a figure of eight, eyebrows and circle eyes, little nostrils oval shaped and a smiley mouth. Now we're going for the chest and the tummy and the arms are raised with the hands in the air. Excellent! A bit of symmetry so they're exactly the same on each side. Some palms ready to paint just like that starting with sparkly silver for the outer ear and then black inside and black for the outside of the face brilliant going for silver on the inside face going around the eyes carefully there you go and the chest and the tummy can be the same color how about the palms of the hands too? Fantastic! Back to black! Now we're doing a normal black colour for our gorilla but you can do your gorilla any colour you like. Why not make it a rainbow gorilla? All different colours. Maybe you could even put a pattern on it like hearts or stars or stripes. Be as creative as you like. It's your gorilla. We're using sparkly black and silver and grey paint. You can use crayons or pencils or pens. It really is all up to you. And there you have it. Gorilla! Woohoo! Well done. G'day mate. We're going to make a koala picture today. Yeah! Did you know the koalas live in Australia? Let's start with the eyes and the nose and the mouth face and the ears they're a bit fluffy around the edge next we go for the body and the legs and feet where will our koala be how about sitting in a tree that's what they do they live in the trees and sit and eat the leaves that's right so we're drawing some leaves on our branch darkening up the border that's it. You can use the same black marker pen going over it a couple of times to make it dark or a thick one. Right, it's time to paint. Starting with blue. Ooh, we love a bit of blue. Outer ears first. And some pink. Yeah, inside. Brilliant. Going back to our blue for the face. I think we'll do most of our koala blue because I love this colour. 
You can, of course, do it any colour you like. Koalas are very often grey. Black nose. Lovely. Little bit of silver for the area around the mouth. Red tongue. Pink inside the mouth. Let's go for blue for the rest of the body. Cute little arms hanging onto the tree there. Let's just go for silver on the belly. Back to blue for the legs. Brilliant. We're almost done with this koala. That's how easy it is. Going for brown for our branch. And green, of course, for the leaves. Gorgeous. And there you have it. Wow, an amazing blue sparkly koala sitting in the tree. Woohoo! Subscribe and watch more. Chicky R.